Hello everyone. <coughs> I am Katana. I am the lightning cat. Just watching Holly too. And I decided, you know what? I forgot to record a wake up vlog, didn't I? Nah, I just didn't feel like recording at the time. So instead of telling you what I dreamed about, I'm going to give you a little story. Aside from math being absolutely useless beyond basic addition in the real world, unless you have a job in fucking rocket science, designing and engineering that is, not the actual launching of the damn things, all that requires you to do is push a fucking button. <clears throat> Unless you have a job in some sort of engineering where you design shit on a computer, math is utterly fucking useless. Outside of basic addition and subtraction, but I hardly ever use that outside of grocery shopping. Now I'd like to tell you all a story. It began when I was in high school. Some DEA motherfuckers came to the school. And one of the other students there told me that these assholes came in two years prior and were actually handing out detailed instructions on how to make crystal meth. And amongst other things. And turns out, this is some proof to how fucking corrupt the whole fucking United States is, but they were going into the school and they were actually doing that. Because after I saw the fuckers there, not even two weeks later, there was a big time bust of someone on my same street at the time who was making crystal meth. Not even two weeks later. Not even a whole week later. It was two fucking days after those assholes show up. Two fucking days. <clears throat> Now in the 31 years I've lived on this planet, I've learned. And then later, I saw in a video game. True coincidences are few and far in between. They're a very rare thing. That is no fucking coincidence. The fucking assholes are manufacturing crime here in the United States. And probably every fucking where. Why? Because, well, this may seem a bit off topic, but there's some relevance there. What happened in Detroit was satired and parodied in the original Robocop movies. Which is probably why it's called a cult classic instead of a sci-fi. Anyway, same thing's happening here in Alabama. The two biggest earners here are the prison industry and the fucking car industry. Given that, yeah, here in Alabama, the freaking, uh, what the hell? Give me just a moment. That doesn't feel right. Ew. That doesn't feel right at all. <clears throat> Where was I? Yeah. The car industry. Yeah. And, and the fucking prison industry. It's a full-on for-profit system. I know, I've been to prison. I've seen how fucking shitty it is. 
And if you say otherwise, you're fucking deluded. And you need to go to prison yourself. Given that the, the Mercedes plant is just literally down the fucking road a few miles or so. And that America's prison population is... Uh, oh, what was the stats? Quadruple... Quadruple the rest of the global average or something like that. I don't fucking remember Statistics are irrelevant at this point America has more prisoners in prison than most other countries have people altogether Comparatively Highest prison population in is in America it's because they manufacture crime. They go out and they manufacture the crimes. They make up absur absurd fucking laws that are impossible not to be violated. For instance, I learned from a dude in jail that interstate commerce laws state quite clearly that if you purchase even a vehicle and you drive it out of the state, no matter what state you're in, if you drive it out of the state, you're in violation of like 16 different section codes in the interstate commerce laws. Then they'll get you with, uh, back in the day, it used to be called bootlegging. Uh, what's the actual term they use now? Trafficking. They'll get you with fucking bullshit terms that don't mean a damn thing. They're just words that were invented so that assholes in a, a fucking armchair could have a job. And it, even in the judicial system, those of you who know what I'm talking about will understand. Please post links in the comments for everyone who doesn't understand. I was denied my 1099 OID filing by my fucking lawyer. She was nothing but a plea bargain bitch. Jenny C. Jones, attorney at law. Plea bargain bitch sucking the DA's dick down here in Alabama. For those of you who give a fuck and have the ability to do something, please do so. Because I'm not the only one being railroaded like this. They'll say ignorance of the law is no excuse. But they rely on you being completely ignorant of how the law really works. So that they can force you under extreme duress by capturing you and holding you as a debt instrument against your will. That's what prison really is. And in the Constitution it states that no... No state shall make any payments but by means of silver and gold tender. Means you can't hold a fucking person as debt instrument because that's slavery. That's exactly what prison does to you. Holds you as a debt instrument. The charges against you go and they, they fucking do this paperwork charade which isn't available online. It's all privatized. Kind of like a PMC. And it goes into your, your fucking Federal Reserve bank account. And it takes money out of your Federal Reserve. And then they hold you as a debt instrument anyway. So the, the lawyers, the attorneys, and the judges, and the people who own the privatized stock in the for-profit prison economy system that America was founded upon, they're the ones making bank. And the feds are nothing but a fucking pawn in the system. Just like the president is a fucking figurehead. A fucking toy. A little Lego set up there for everyone, every one of the plebtards and morons to look at and bitch about. For real people in control... 
like George Carlin said, they don't fucking care about you. However, I am willing to play ball with these real people in charge. But at the same time, I want to change things. I want to do away with this fucking bullshit system because they're using it to try and thin the population because this planet, the entire planet, is massively overpopulated. All the political jargon and bullshit you'll hear from whoever the fuck you talk to out in the public, 100 fucking percent full of shit. Uh, let's see, what was that book? I was watching a YouTube video last night. This dude was telling you... Fuck it, I'll go into my fucking watch history. Give me a minute. Uh, it was before all that Avengers stuff. I started binge watching. <clears throat> it was before that. No, nope, it was way after that. Where was it? Fuck's sake. Eh, fuck. I don't remember which video it was. Oh well. Fuck it. Lost my train of thought looking for it. C'est la vie. Shit fucking happens. But I want to change things. I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of the real people in charge pussyfooting around the real issue. The real issue is humanity has overpopulated the planet. And here's a big warning sign. Your planet actually is alive. It actually has thoughts and feelings and emotions and shit. And you think that, well, if you think that you're the only one alive, you're fucking stupid. You deserve to be destroyed. Also, there's warning signs. Let's go back to your ever-so-classic Bible that says the labor pains of the earth. Some such nonsense in the end times. Well, you've got those fucking things right now. Diverse diseases, incurable afflictions. You know, what do you think fucking AIDS is? How about all those fucking obscure cancers with prefixes like glio that means glue like and is literally inoperable and nearly unfucking curable? What do you think that shit is about? I don't give a fuck if you don't like hearing the truth. I'm gonna say it anyway. Because it's time for it to be said. Because history is repeating itself because no one's fucking listening. Oh, yeah. Natural disasters. It says something about that in your ever so precious Bible. You remember, uh, just a few months ago, in 2018, that thing in Florida with the hurricane that came through and they used all their big boy words on the media and said devastation and total destruction. Yeah, that's the earth being pissed off at you humans because you've overpopulated it and you're killing the fucking planet. And that's one of the biggest fucking problems that the real people in charge need to quit being a little pussy ass bitch about and come up honestly and openly and say this is the fucking problem. We need a fucking real solution. Quite honestly, this is a subject that none of you will fucking love hearing about. And if you do love hearing about, then, well... That's a subject for a completely different rant.
All these problems stem from one core cause. The planet's over fucking populated. When that happens, nature has a few dozen natural checks and balances it goes through to thin out the population to a nice equilibrium to keep things from going fucking tits up. Let's see. <coughs> What are those things? I remembered them at one time. Uh, let's see. The population, naturally, without all these bullshit rules and laws that are completely fucking stupid, begins to overpopulate. It balances and equilibrates itself. The males have more aggression. They start killing each other. Females become disinterested in sexual relationships. That's the first thing. For beings to go off and, and fucking kill others. Well, predator and prey relationship, they do that for balance and equilibrium. Foxes hunting rabbits, rabbits eating grass, a, that sort of thing. Natural ecology balance. Eh, funny. I was watching a video on that just a few minutes ago. Then, past that, when a population proceeds to become unbalanced with its natural environment by, via overpopulation, funnier things start happening, such as homosexuality. It's, it's just a natural, built-in mechanic to life. Yeah, it's completely fucking natural, but at the same time, it's meant to curb the population growth, to keep it from overpopulating the area, because the fucking planet can't sustain the population this fucking massive. Not naturally, hell the fuck no. If you look at it, <clears throat> we have all these machine manufacturing plants just chemically processing food out. That's completely unfucking natural. The planet cannot naturally sustain a population of billions. No fucking way. Not even if the planet were 15 times its size. It just can't. There's a natural balance, an equilibrium. <clears throat> What are the other things? Why are the males getting more aggressive? Leading into war. Yeah. Sexual disinterest. F. Increased aggression. Homosexuality. War. The planet itself becomes involved in the fifth one. Natural disasters. That thing that happened in Florida last year, really late last year in 2018, that big fucking hurricane that wiped out nearly the entire fucking state, natural fucking disasters. Yeah, you'll want to hide in your normalcy bias and ignore it and pretend everything's fucking fine, but you're a fucking idiot if you try to. Let's see. Number six. What was number six? Various plagues, afflictions, incurable diseases. Yeah, that's in your oh so precious Bible, too. Five and six are where the planet itself gets involved and starts manufacturing problems to try and kill off the disease, the virus known as humanity. We're talking about this particular planet right here. The one we're living on. <clears throat> <clears throat> People have been discovering more parasites, more viruses, more illnesses, genetic abnormalities such as uh, 
Here, here's here's an interesting one. The girl with the rapid aging disease. Yeah, the the planet uses its aura to reach into your genetics and fuck you up. Because it's sick of being overpopulated. Because humanity has become a virus at this point. Eh, I forget the actor's name, but the character he played, Agent Smith in the Matrix movies. He was right. Humanity has become a virus. You eat and consume, and you consume until every natural resource is depleted, and the only way to survive is to spread and consume some more. The only other organism that follows this pathology is a virus. QED, humanity is a fucking virus now. You've ceased to be a people, a culture, a civilization, and you've become a fucking virus. Uh, number seven, sociological breakdown. This is most prominent in online gaming communities. I've even covered some of this in the, the toxic fuckboy base of, uh, COD bitches who have moved into games like Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Just running around killing you because they have nothing better to do. Because they literally think that because they have a gun, they have to go out and shoot somebody. Do you behave this way in real life? Your psychology is all fucked up. And then that leads from... No, that, that doesn't lead from. That stems from the increased aggression of number two. It gets worse. It gets so much worse. But this is where we are right now. We've got that, uh, that massive catastrophe late last year. We've got all these viruses and plagues and afflictions. Everything in your oh-so-precious Bible is coming true because you ignored the warnings. You chose to live in blind faith instead of questioning everything around you and finding out the source of things. Living blindly is not living at all. It's merely subsisting, existing, whatever. Fucking words, man. We've reached critical mass with all these things. The next step <clears throat> is hell in a handbag. You know that thing that your parents keep saying 20 years ago? Oh, this place is going to hell in a handbag. Well, now it is. Granted, uh, the degradation of people's uh, manners and honor, discipline, and respect is only a symptom of the overpopulation thing. It, it pretty much is hell in a handbag. Do I say solutions that I've thought of? Or do I just leave it at that? We're going to talk about it, or we'll just leave it. We're going to talk about it, or we'll just leave it. That's where I am at this point right now. <clears throat> if I give possible solutions that I've thought of, there's a lot of you are going to say, Oh, you're a monster. You're a criminal. You need to go to prison. Fine. Whatever. You're just a dumb fucking pleb. If I don't talk about it, then I'm not putting solutions out there for people to have and potentially use. So the thing is, I honestly don't care what people's opinion of me is. I really don't. But I'm at a point with the knowledge I have, 
things I know and the sources that I get them from I have been asked not to talk about certain things one of those things would definitely be the solutions that I've thought of and probably this whole video it's a 50-50 split right there I didn't get a fucking handbook I just got asked to be quiet about certain things not by the real people in charge but by another group of people I'm fairly certain they don't want me talking about them either However, there is one people who don't give a fuck if I talk about them. The big, tall, spindly-bodied gray assholes. Why don't I just go and call them an asshole? Fuck it, who cares? I don't give a fuck what they think of me anymore. Not this particular moment. I might start caring again later, but right now I'm just... I'm at a point of apathetic, nihilistic cynicism. Which is a very bad thing. That's part of the sociological degradation of society. You become apathetic, disillusioned, mentally and emotionally separated from the world around you because you're literally drowning in an overwhelming flood of thoughts and energies being generated by the, all the minds around you. This isn't a, a theory, this is an absolute. I don't really deal in theories unless they're game theories. Or movie theories. But that's a completely different YouTuber altogether. Go and thank MatPat for that. <clears throat> whether you believe it or not what some spiritualists call the aura is just an electromagnetic field generated by your brain and your central and peripheral nervous system this can be seen using Krillian photography, which is a thing that was developed uh, in the 1960s and 70s, I want to say. But basically, electromagnetic resonance is all it really is. So what you call a ghost is just a a residual EM field from someone who died. And yeah, you can train your mind to generate one powerful enough to where when you die, you continue to be awake outside of your body. Now we could get into philosophy and all kinds of other things, but I'm explaining it with simple science terms. <clears throat> It's not ferromagnetism. It's just an electromagnetic field. Not to be confused with magnets that you stick on side of your refrigerator. It, it, let's take out the word magnetic because it confuses a lot of people. It's a, an electro resonance field. And yeah, you can actually program your mind, your brain, to physically generate that to where it's self-sustaining. Buddhists and, and Tibetan priests all in Eastern mythology and mysticism, they do this their whole lives to build up to the point where they can live outside of their body after their body dies. All this energy generated from 
Well, now we have upwards of 9 billion minds generating their own electron resonance fields. You literally drowned mentally and emotionally in this energy. So overpopulation is a huge fucking pollution problem in the spiritual plane. All this uh, electron resonance fields, electro resonance fields, is literally drowning everyone out. And that's why a lot of people think they hear voices in their heads, because it's really just your neighbor thinking really loudly. I've tried to explain this to a few people before, but... Trying to explain it to a religious fanatic is pointless. They don't want to believe any form of science or study at all. And trying to explain it to someone who's purely on the science part of things is equally as pointless because they've abandoned all spiritual precepts combined all together. This, this is a form of extremism. Humanity is a fucking extremist planet of idiots, basically. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me let me quote Thor from the, the first Thor movie, prequeling the Avengers. Where I come from, they're one and the same. Your ancestors called it magic. You call it science. Where I come from, they're one and the same. If you went back. Yeah, I know, I know this is an argument concept from, uh, just bear with me here. This, this is to set the tone for, my, for what I'm saying here. If you went back 30 years ago and you took the level of technology you have now, and you, you know, pulled out your phone and started recording with it and showed someone, they would be in awe of it. If you went back further to 1920-something, when uh, Henry Ford made the first Model T, or was it 1820? I don't remember. But if you went back then with a phone from now and started recording shit and then showed people... They might just call it fucking witchcraft. If you went back to the Salem witch trials and showed someone a phone from today, and showed them you recording them and then playing it back to them on your phone, they would call you a witch and burn you at the fucking stake. Humanity hasn't changed intellectually. You're still equally as fucking stupid, ignorant, dumb, and naive. Now, I'm here telling you right now. The planet's overpopulated. It's trying to kill you all. Because you won't fucking control yourselves. But, uh, you know, hey. Listen to Matt Pat's game, uh, not game theory. Film theory, when he said Thanos was right in his description. And his thumbnail has a picture of Thanos smiling with his thumb up in, in his Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos came from a planet that suffered from overpopulation. He tried to talk to them, they wouldn't listen. I'm talking to you now. Maybe some of you will listen. I highly don't believe it. But hey, from time to time, words of truth and forewarning need to be spoken. In your oh-so-precious Bible, they called them prophets. They were just warning you that, hey, you need to do these certain things. Otherwise, if you don't, bad shit's gonna fucking happen. Well, now that bad shit is fucking happening, and everyone wants to go with the normalcy bias and ignore it like a fucking moron.
There. I've said things. Whether you think so or not, whether you choose to believe so or not, Einstein proved with a, uh, a theorem, a whole fucking essay, book report, multi-page thesis, whatever you want to call it, the theorem of relativity, and no, it's not E equals MC squared, that's just the smallest way you can express the energy to mass conversion theorem, or a theorem or equation, whatever. Those two things are not the same. E equals MC squared is not the theory of relativity. Yeah, but Einstein proved mathematically everything's relative. Everything I've said is relative to everything I've said. And it's relative to the situation at hand. Quite honestly, as many ideas as I have to help control the population and reduce it, talking about it isn't going to be helpful. Not for the psychological well-being of everyone. This is one of those things that happen behind closed doors for a reason. Because talking about it openly and honestly leads to a lot of people doing really dumb shit because they're fucking dumb shit idiots. If you or your, your husband and or wife are a dumb cunt, chances are your fucking child is going to be a dumb cunt. So we have a lot of dumb cunts running around. No matter which way I go about thinking about it, it just... I know that with the current state and level of sociology and psychology of the common fucking moron, it'll be perceived as a very bad thing by everyone. So fuck it. Fuck putting the ideas out there. Even though I really want to. It's not going to help anybody. <clears throat> Till next time, everybody. Bye.